It might be tempting, but the risks of public Wi-Fi sometimes outweigh the benefits. I'm with John Wong, who is the Director of Mobile Product Marketing for Samsung, and he's going to talk to us about some of the risks of public Wi-Fi. Absolutely. So if you look at public Wi-Fi's, they're primarily designed for convenience, but not necessarily security. And so what that means is that they're more prone to attacks on the data that's actually going over those, those Wi-Fi networks. So how do you protect yourself around public Wi-Fi? Sure, so first thing you could do is probably avoid using it at all, uh, but if you have to use it from a convenience standpoint, then uh, make sure you use it with a VPN. And then the third would be make sure you're using a device that has that built-in security to provide those extra layers of protection. So John, what's an example of a risk that you might incur if you were on public Wi-Fi? Sure, so if public Wi-Fi isn't as secure, uh, then it, of course it's more prone to attacks. And, and one uh, example of that is where you can spoof the network so you're not actually connecting to the network you're, you're thinking you're connecting to, right? And so there's a risk there um, that once you do connect to that, that there could be an attack on the, the data that's coming from your device over that network. So that's probably one of the common risks. So VPNs kind of get a bad rap, but what are some of the reasons we need to still use them? Sure, so when you're accessing your corporate apps and data outside of the office, like a coffee shop, uh, you want to make sure that that connection is secure. Uh, so it's not just about only the device being secure and having that protection, it's the data going from the device over the network, and that's why I need a VPN to make sure it's secure. For more videos like this, subscribe to our channel.